Dutch MEP Sophie and T. Velt said the Eurosceptic Alliance will have enough firepower to avoid attempts by supporters of the bloc to thwart their plans. Her warning comes after 16 right-wing parties joined forces to rail against the EU's political direction. They declared the bloc a tool of radical forces, trying to build a European superstate. A declaration was signed by a number of high-profile governments, including Hungary's Viktor Orban, Poland's ruling Law and Justice, France's National Rally, led by Marine Le Pen, Austria's Freedom Party, Spain's Vox and Italy's League and Brothers of Italy, led by Matteo Salvini and Giorgia Maloney respectively. Discussing the prospect of a Eurosceptic supergroup, Muzin T. Velt said, the likely new group will have access to significant financial resources. It will be increasingly difficult for pro-European parliamentarians to construct a cordon sanitaire. The queasy prospect of Le Pen addressing the Chamber of the European Parliament from the front row risks becoming a reality. The Dutch politician told the Politico website pro-Europeans were partly to blame because of the little self-reflection. The declaration comes as a significant boost to the Eurosceptic cause, with many of its parties struggling to work together in the past. While they hope to one day form a unified group in the EU Parliament, officials and insiders suggest this is still a long way off. The parties wrote, the EU is becoming more and more a tool of radical forces that would like to carry out a cultural, religious transformation and ultimately a nationless construction of Europe, aiming to create a European superstate. They pitched the declaration as a contribution to the Conference on the Future of Europe, which launched earlier this year. European nations should be based on tradition, respect for the culture and history of European states, respect for Europe's Judeo-Christian heritage and the common values that unite our nations, they said. We reaffirm our belief that family is the basic unit of our nations. In a time when Europe is facing a serious demographic crisis with low birth rates and aging population, pro-family policymaking should be an answer instead of mass immigration. They insisted the EU should be reformed with a set of inviolable competences of the European Union's member states, and an appropriate mechanism for their protection with the participation of national constitutional courts or equivalent bodies. For the first time, Eurosceptics from across the bloc have been able to reach common ground on many issues, such as Russia. For example, Ms. Le Pen's national rally have been seen as a pro-Moscow outfit, while Poland's rule and justice have had to take a hard line against Russia for historical reasons. Nicholas Bay, the head of the National Rally's EU Parliament delegation, said the goal of the document is to form a wider political group, in the upcoming months. Richard Legutko, a senior MEP from Poland's Law and Justice, said there was no intention to form a broader group. He added, this does not affect the configuration of the groups. But he the Polish MEP has suggested that more parties could join their loose alliance. In a couple of weeks, we will see how many will sign and contribute, he said.